you having a fight with it. I don't got, I just don't understand that. And him look just like his G daddy. Okay, y'all. All right. So shout out to all the people who answered the poll on the last video. It looks like a lot of people do not believe this story. I also realized that it's not clear when she says bonus son. Everyone is assuming that she is talking about Teeth's son. We know that Teeth has children from another marriage, okay? But she was not talking about Teeth, all right? So let's get that clear. Secondly, she is talking about her ex-husband, all right? So you guys listen to this next part. Mm-hmm. My ex-husband marked all of his people. My ex-husband have produced some of the prettiest churn. <laughs> now this is a married woman. She is married to Teeth, right? And she's sitting here fawning over her ex-husband. And she always does that when there are problems with her husband now. She's good at words, guys. She's a wordsmith. She reads books. She can tell stories. So she can literally confuse the audience all right yeah she said bonus son bonus son means you're married to the person you guys are together yeah no she called her ex-husband's son bonus son see how it is yeah she misses her ex-husband she wants to be with him mm-hmm because <laughs> my children are dope and his son is handsome too he look just like all my children but where he done went out here and produced now, y'all tell me, do you guys believe this part, that this baby, okay, and you guys can look at the baby on my other videos, you guys, looks just like Teeth. She didn't even give Teeth any credit. I mean, I understand she doesn't want to allegedly come out and say that this is her side baby, okay, her husband's side baby, all right? But you could at least say it that the baby belongs to Teeth's children. At least that would have, you know, explained the... You know, the fact that the baby looks like teeth, in my opinion. All right? So, I want you guys to answer that. Do you think that this baby looks like teeth? Yes So, my ex-husband no? was babysitting him for the funeral. His, um, his mother's sister's funeral. She died in Mount Vernon on Labor Day. And can you imagine dealing with all the emotions that come with having a baby and then throwing death, loss, and grief? Anybody who knows uh, this storyline of Sybil, okay, you guys know she always has to put grief in it. I feel like this story may have some truth to it, but I'm talking about the part where somebody passed away, but we don't know who really passed away. I, we really don't. We don't even know if this is true because she always has to tie in grief, misery, and strife in the story. And this is just a little three-month-old baby, you know? So whomever this baby belongs to, they need to understand that this woman is very uh, miserable On top and negative. Of it. And then changing the entire climate of your household by taking in your family and trying to help them to heal and grieve, too. Like, honestly, Miss Sybil can't help nobody heal and grieve. She's still healing and grieving. Grieving over a lot of things. Not just her mom, but her marriages, her choices. You get what I'm saying? She could uh, sit here and uh, hold her husband's side baby. But in her mind, she has cooked up this, this story. Back in the day, we used to call it cockamamie story. You get what I'm saying? She has to convince herself that this is her baby with her ex-husband because she's so miserable in her marriage now. Yeah, this goes kind of deep. And she doing it, she just moseying through life like, hey, I'm, I'm doing it and I'm loving it. And that's all that matter, right? But 